This educational video is prepared for promoting active learning of corrosion engineering. A galvanic cell, which is also known as voltaic cell, is a type of electrochemical cell that converts chemical energy into electrical energy by using a spontaneous oxidation reduction reaction. To simply, it is used to supply electric current by making the transfer of electrons through a redox reaction. Parts of galvanic cell Anode, the electrode in which oxidation will occur. It has a negative potential with respect to the solution. Cathode, the electrode in which reduction will occur. It has a positive potential with respect to the solution. Salt bridge, it consists of the electrolytes, which are used to complete the circuit. Half cells, and load. Galvanic cells are useful for corrosion protection. This cell can be made from any two metals. When two metals are in contact, one of the metals will be the anode and the other the cathode leading to galvanic corrosion of more anodic metal. Basically, the working principle of this galvanic cell is quite simple. It entails a chemical reaction that produces electrical energy as the final result. Working principle of galvanic cells Initially, when an electrode is exposed to the electrolyte of the electrode-electrolyte interface, the atoms of the metal electrode tend to generate the ions in the electrolyte solution leaving the electrons at the electrode behind. As a result, the metal electrode will become negatively charged. At the same time, metal ions in the electrolyte solution have their own tendency to deposit on a metal electrode. As a result, the electrode is positively charged. Charge separation is observed in equilibrium conditions. Electrode can be positively or negatively charged depending on the tendencies of two opposing reactions. As a result, a potential difference between the electrode and electrolyte is created. Setup of a galvanic cell. Two electrodes would be ideal for the cell. One of these electrodes, the cathode, must be positively charged, while the other, the anode, must be negatively charged. To be more clear, let us have a look for an example. In this case, the copper electrode will act as the cathode whereas the zinc electrode acts as anode. The electricity will flow from the cathode to the anode through the salt bridge. Therefore, the copper ions are reduced at the cathode, while zinc is oxidized at the anode. The corrosion will occur at the anode, as the metal electrode in the anode has higher energy level compared to the cathode. List of references Thank you. Supervised by Associate Professor Dr. Ahmad Hazmin Mohammed.